girl. Scozer. I thought Goza was a man. Whatever it wants. Or whatever it is, it's got to get by us. Right. Go get her, Ray. Who's the flying beefcake? Hello. supernatural activity and return forthwith to your place of origin or to the nearest convenient parallel dimension. That ought to do it. Thanks very much. Never been good in a fight. Well, good news. Here's your chance to work on that. Guys, you all have your sidearms. I suggest you use them. Okay, power up! The Witch, A New England Folktale, is a charming slice-of-life fantasy drama. A family of recent English emigres recently were charged with mapping the newly acquired Louisiana Purchase by President Teddy Roosevelt himself. Unable to refuse his royal prerogative, they set out for the yet-to-be-named New Brunswick. But they find that wilderness cartography can be a little rougher than they expected. On the brink of starvation and cabin fever, a spirit of the forest reaches out a branch. Apprehensive, the family refuses her help. This was a time when witchcraft and sorcery weren't yet in fashion. Unfazed, she makes the family a magic jam that sustains them through the winter, and the family learns how to open their hearts to her and to one another once more. Now for the best. If you've yet to see it, The Witch may be one of the best horror movies released in this modern era. There are many candidates for the best. Unfortunately, YouTube has some dogmatic continuing issue with old naked witch women slathering themselves with fetal blood and sexy witch women on little English boy action. Real progressive guys, I mean, who makes these decisions? Fred Phelps? Alas, let's watch. What went we out into this wilderness to find? Leaving our country. Kindred. The movie opens right on this teenage girl. Despite the family drama nature of the film, the subtle nod lets us know the movie starts and ends with this girl. <laughs> for what? We must ask thee to be silent. Was it not? For the pure and faithful dispensation of the Gospels and the Kingdom of God. No more! Opening on the girl and then panning between the rest of the children, it ends with the father. To me, this says there's already something between them. Perhaps the reason why they're at this tribunal. I have done nothing, say preach Christ through Gospel. Must you continue to dishonor the laws of the Commonwealth and the Church with your prideful conceit Ah, oh, the reason. A prideful Christian waging a spiritual war with puritanical leaders. This may not be the last time the zealot's prideful conceits undermine his wife and children. <laughs> the dialogue immediately lets us know. Go and grab a thesaurus. Which, if you're not an idiot, shouldn't be a problem. Nassim reminiscent of the Salem Witch Trials, we pan over the crowd to find their judgmental eyes stabbing this family. My conscience sees it fit. Then shall you be banished from this plantation's liberties. I would be glad on it. Truly the pride cometh before the fall. And now the focus is back on our young girl. And ominously they take their leave. Like I said, an excellent horror film, especially considering its contemporaries. Okay, Twitter poll. If you could stay one age forever, what would it be? What about the age we are right now? Seriously? The only real issue that pops up when re-watching this movie is 
How big a bitch the mom is to Thomason from the start. And what about Thomason? Are we sure that's even a real name? I can forgive that because even she agrees with me. Let me find favor in your eyes. A child, tell me not will. Here are some examples of her bitchy nature. I told thee to keep watch of Jonas and Mercer. I was, and I bade them help me and they paid me no mind. Yeah, I was against the matter with thee, Thomasin. What is the matter with thee? Take thy father's rags to the brook and wash them. Pay me no mind. And brush out his woolens. How thou could lose me father's silver wine cup in this hovel, I cannot know. I haven't done face, child. He's gone. I just don't get it. It's your husband's fault you're out here and all of your rage is pointed at your daughter. I mean, maybe give her a reason to act this way towards her, or I feel like she has had a healthy distaste for her daughter, even before they were exiled. I mean, what possible reason... Oh, wait a tick. <laughs> there you are. There you are. <laughs> Boo! Daddy, I'd like you to meet my friend Paul. 